That's clearly not the decision the, the coach has made. Oh my that gosh! Nice Straight over the needles! Let's go, J. Cool. Get out of here! J. Cool is a pretty solid little man. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. It's, it's always so weird, like, because, uh, well, Little Mac is, like, his recovery is obviously very poor. Um, you know, it, it, so many players, like, often just mess up uh, hitting him because the the hitbox on his his up B is deceptively big a little bit. Oh, my That's gosh. Nice. Joe Cool. Snow Black is already out. Yeah, he just rinsed Snow Black a little bit. <laughs> rinsed him, put him yeah. to the washing machine. Who are they sending in? I already forgot the teams. I'm going to say that flat out. Well, Team R2 is up 14 yeah. to 12 right now. How you guys been? Snow Black with uh, two stocks unanswered. And we'll, we'll see what Gushi can do. Um, two stock crews are a little volatile. They okay. Are sending an e -serpent. e Serpent. The resident Ganondorf. I have no idea how Ganon Mac is. Young pet alligator himself. Alligator? Doesn't he have a pet alligator? Does he? I don't know. He he would. If I he did on, it. I honestly wouldn't to be, fair. be that surprised. No, 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 not at all, not at all. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Uh, what you need to know about E Serpent is that he is the sickest Ganon Michigan around. has to offer. N not in Michigan, around. Now, the sickest what, Ganon around. What do you think about Little Mac versus Ganondorf? I have no idea. Same. I'm just gonna that's say that I, instead you. of trying to act like I know <laughs> stuff about this matchup, I don't know anything about this matchup. I mean. I can tell you what each character probably wants to do. They're probably uh, both looking to get the other off stage. It's a very stage control heavy matchup. I couldn't yeah, put a number on it though. I couldn't tell you who wins. Smash Brothers. Well, of course, but like uh, they're not they're not looking for like confirms and um, you know maybe like damage off of neutral exchanges. They're looking more for like uh, stage advantage because that's how this matchup is mainly going to be focused. All right. That's solid. Yeah, it's it's pretty rare to see the tech on the Ganon side B actually, just because like it's a very strange timing and people don't typically. Oh, all right, KO punch. All right, I look down for a second to check the time, and I look up to that. I'm not 100. So. percent I mean, Joe Cool is the mag man here, but yeah. I'm not 100 percent sure that uh, KO punch was actually necessary. How long has Joe Cool been in the scene? I don't know. Okay, uh, long enough. It's been around at least like I don't know. I, he's been around a long time, relative. Yeah. <laughs> Seen him around all last year. Um, oh my gosh. Jake Joe Cool about to do this. Putting this man off stage. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Caught him on the neutral getup. That hitbox is very active. One of the things that uh, players have, so, um, one of the main issues players have with punishing neutral getup is how. Uh, how few like frames there are of vulnerability uh, getting up before you can shield. It's like two or three, I think. Um, and so throwing out moves that are really active like that one, <laughs> really good you know, answer. This is super off topic, but for Little Mac, Ooh. being called Little Mac, he's not. Whoa. Okay. Down to um, B. For Little Mac not being little in this game, which is kind of weird. Like he's super tall. He's kind of no. He's kind of short. I mean, he's not as short as like like he's Kirby or Pikachu. He's like but a, he looks like, like. I think he's one of the shorter human characters. I mean, Ganondorf definitely dwarfs him. That being said, Ganondorf's supposed to be like a giant. Pac-Man is not a human just because he is man in his name hey, it's does not make him you can't, a human. You can't assume. <laughs> you can't assume stuff around here. All right. Twenty seventeen. Pa Pac-Man can be a Evolving. person if he wants to, I suppose. No, but like he's pretty tall. Like Mega Man, I know he's a robot. Mega Man's but, a robot. But like uh, you know, yeah. But if you compare him to like I Lucas, don't know, Mar you see, Lucas, short. Little Lucas Mac is like short. eight. <laughs> Who cares? There's some tall eight-year-olds. If you compare him to like, if you compare him to like Mars, he's a tall eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, For, forget it. Shout uh, out to low one. Sending in super. Where do you go? To see if we can take out Joe Cool's final stock here. Joe Cool uh, done definitely more than he needed to. Um, typically in crews, you try to take out. Uh, I guess typically in crews, you try to take out at least the amount of stock that you have to keep it even. Um, that was not a dab. I just want to say to Gucci because <laughs> I know 
Gushi has this strange policy of if you dab, you're dead. You're dead, Ice Man. <laughs> you need me. So. <laughs> I bleed the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> we got Yoshi versus Little Mac and IMO. Yoshi destroys Little Mac. You think so? Like, absolutely. You because so? Nair. Nair literally destroys everyone, but like Diddy Kong and Bayonetta. I mean, uh, in all fairness, I think Yoshi's like the the characters that do really well against Yoshi are the characters like Cloud, Diddy, characters with like basically everyone huge, that's like top five. Huge disjointed anti airs are what destroy Yoshi, and I don't know if Little Mac has uh, any. I mean, he probably has few anti airs, and I don't think he has any disjoints. Um, so, yeah, you may you solid. may have a point there. Um, because I know Yoshi's Nair, you can get him trapped in, like, right where the tail starts and, like, the foot is ending. You can get him trapped there and just Nair lock him. Oh, you mean, like, string it? Yeah. Ooh. And, like, Good they're just stuck in the middle. Oh, oh, he, that he tried was, to, that yeah. was risky. Uh oh, that might be super stock. Okay, yeah, that's super stock right there. Joe Cool now with five stocks under his belt. Losing only one himself. And this KO Punch end. is uh, very We have to look at Joe Cool's controller after this. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Oh my gosh, and Joe Cool gets the Gazelle Punch. Is, is the, is the Six Damon stocks on 9.0? Unanswered. Yeah, I don't Are know, man. Are we Genesis? Check, check the damage. Damon is on 9.0. Check the damage ratio. Check the damage ratio. That looked so cool too when he traded. Goose <laughs> just checking his <laughs> controller. That looks like a white controller. It looks like a controller buy. chaos controller that you can get on. Uh, wait, we're not sponsored by controller you know, chaos. You you don't have to do that. You know, right? Wait, they don't see it. But shout out to Mod Pizza though. Oh yeah, Mod Pizza <laughs> for your favorite and scrumptious pizza needs. <laughs> they don't sell crush, so you can't go full Ninja Turtle. All right, we got Tone Def sitting down, thinking maybe the Little Mac Ditto is the answer that Team Gucci needs to get back up in this. Fun. You thought Rayquaza was going to be the problem. <laughs> yeah. I'm ashamed in your picking, Gucci. This, is, this does not look good. And or Wuvs, if you want to go back into Brawl. I'm pleading to pick again. <laughs> Okay, Battlefield. Right, I know. Uh, I know. Little Max really like Battlefield, so it is no surprise to me. I don't me. know why you think like a boxer, like platform, but well, they like know. FD too. But that's, that's um, above. like, like Little Mac is uh, good at pressuring platforms from below, <laughs> just not <laughs> some Dragon Ball Z stuff. Oh no! Is that it? Okay, Joe Cool waits it out, hugs the ledge so that it uh, hits Tone Def out of his charge. That's crucial. The guttural punch. I don't oh. know what the forward smash is called. Probably just called forward smash. It's just smash. called forward smash, yeah. But it looks like he's <laughs> most just driving your fist. In yeah, it. most most smash attacks don't have names. If they yeah. do, we usually just make them up. Oh, oh no! Oh man! Tone Def catches Tone Joe Cool out of the roll with the KO punch. You know, but, uh, Tone Def. Remember how we were talking about low one? Yeah. What about low one? He's apparently sitting down. It's He's here. Gushi read me the crew list, and Low One was not on it. The Low One's here in the building. That would we balance it a little bit, though. That that would balance it. Yeah, get at Low One At least here. a bit, like. Get Low that's, One. That's here. someone who can contest Rayquaza. Yeah. <laughs> like otherwise, we may. Have, I think. I, otherwise, I think it uh, may be looking kind of bad for Gushi. So uh, okay, Admin Blue sitting down. Do you know what's not looking bad for Gushi Gaming? This layout. Well, yeah. These weeklies, man. Yeah, I was gonna say his Discord server, which is on the screen. Oh yeah, Gucci's yeah. Discord server is awesome. Even though I'm never in there, but I, sh I mean, I am in there. I just don't talk in there. But yeah. How you been? How have I been? Mhm. Mm I've been good. No, I'm talking to the other Ice Man. Oh, okay. It's two of them. I'll just let you guys talk then. Yeah. Have you been? How? Whoa. English. That is not my language today. I wish it was. Someone someone in the chat teach me English. 
because I don't know how to speak it. Sort of, kind of, not really, but who's up to bat? Uh, Admin Blue is sitting down to take link. Joe Cool's place and see what he can do against Tone Deaf. Tone Deaf. Can Tone Deaf uh, be the little mag menace that Adam, uh, I'm sorry, Joe Cool proved to be? Or will you he know, fall to the, the Toon Link? Excuse my jokes, but J. Cool's run was, looked a little little mac and cheesy. Ha, ha. Add the drum sound effect. Cool. Don't? All right. Didn't hear it anymore. Stop. All right. Into the match now. I've um, heard some bad jokes <laughs> on commentary before. I've heard some bad jokes. But that might yeah. just nah, be the was, worst one. That was, that was A tier. Solid A tier. Uh, like, after commentating for what it's been like, I've been commentating for like three years. Uh huh. I, I've heard some stuff, and you know, <laughs> from other commentators, and I think that might have been the worst thing. <laughs> I mean, to each their own. Maybe someone likes bad jokes. All right, press press one in the chat if you like Johnson's joke. Then <laughs> can go back and see how many ones there are. Uh, my guess. Is not not there'll many. be one not <laughs> one one. You think there's someone out there that, that appreciated that one? And he called them out. You mac and cheesy. My right dude, there. my dude ran up. <laughs> that was some crap. He ran up in stuff. shield, you know, like Smash players do, because that's a good good tactic. And Tone Dev said, "I gotta move the beat shield right here." You know, I wanna I wanna call admin admin blue on uh, something right what is that what's his that? name is admin blue right but he's playing red tune link exactly. is that what you're gonna say it's it's a it's a crime i mean what he can't i'm sure he plays blue tune link sometimes he can play red tune link i mean he can i mean how do you know that he didn't come up with that name when he was like five like I, you think i want to be ice man i mean <laughs> maybe I heard oh, how. oh, oh, that setup was real nice. It Solid. just like barely didn't connect. Solid roll read from, read from Toon Link. Um, oh, I feel like it always puts the fear in Mac players a little bit when you read their rolls because Mac is so reliant on roll as a movement option because his roll is so incredibly good and uh, roll is a really good uh, way to set up down tilt as long as you're not predictable about it. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh man, that's gonna do it. Yep, down tilt to nice up the tone death. They are just just taking their rations on Gucci's team. Uh, that was they're shortening no, tone, their food tone death, supply. Tone deaf is on yo, Gucci's yo, yo, team. Yo, 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 yo. Come here, come here. Why'd you play Red Toon Link? Your name's Admin Blue, dude. The mix-up? Mix no, nah, that ain't a mix-up. That ain't a mix-up. Blue. <laughs> it's blue. What are you talking about, Gunsu? I, I called them out. I'm What's right blue? Through. What is blue? That's iffy, right? What is it's love? So cool. it's so cool. it's so cool. Baby, don't hurt me. Anyway. No more. <laughs> That'd be cool. So listen to that song, playing drums today. But I'm not tone deaf. Because I'm not a good Mac. <laughs> so, uh, oh, Samus. This is a good pick, Wait. I think. Who's the Samus? Um, unfortunately, I don't think I recognize them. Well, we'll see in a minute. Yo, uh, R2, who's the Samus? Who? Oh, deplorable. Wow. Deplorable. Okay. So we got deplorable coming in. See if he can finish off Tone Deaf. I think he can do it. Little I like that. <laughs> Little Mac loses to zoning. Little Mac's love to uh, love to run it. Now, okay, here's my thing. I don't, uh, I don't actually think Samus is as much of a zoner as people believe her to be. Uh, she was clearly designed to be one, but like she shoots a missile. Her right, and the missile is a terrible move. I almost <laughs> like the like she is. I shouldn't say terrible; it has its uses. But like she was clearly designed to be a zoner, but her zoning tools aren't particularly good. So a lot of the time, she ends up relying on like um, 
finding uh, openings for combos and strings and things like that. Uh, her dash attack is really good. Now, Zare is a really strong uh, zoning tool, but you have to watch out when a character like Mac is uh, on screen because his dash is so quick. He can very easily like dash under Zare. Ooh, I like that, uh, that early up B. Avoided the forward smash. That was a good job from... Oh, no! Solid. That roll in and uh, tone deaf going to make quick work of deplorable. You know, sometimes... I, I don't know. Max just been running this whole this whole crew battle. Why are there two Max? All right, we got my man, Blue Danes, coming up to the Oh, mount. let's go, Blue Dane. Does he still main Pikachu? Uh, I think he plays Toon Link and Pikachu. Oh. And Zelda. And Zelda. Yeah, man. Second, I don't... I wish was Zelda was state, viable, dude. He was second. I, I wish Zelda wasn't Zelda's actually the worst character. never gonna be viable. And I, I wish Zelda wasn't actually the worst character in the game because I love that character. Zelda will never be viable. I want. I don't want Zelda in Super Switch Brothers. Yeah, I said it. Come at me, you weebs. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see Pikachu. Party hat Pikachu looking like a missile. Again, not surprised. Side bees. Oh, we're going to Lilat too. Now, as much as Pikachu is absolutely notorious for, you know, Lilat is like, Lilat is infamous for being the stage you ban against Pikachu. But this is a, this is a good Little Mac stage. It is? Yeah, because um, Little Mac likes pr platforms he's able to pressure, but he doesn't like platforms that people can use to camp against him. So like Smashville platform, bad. But the, the side battlefield platforms are good. The Lilat platforms can be pressured with his smash attacks. Like, are you serious? Yeah, he can up smash through all three what about platforms. about downs? No, he can't down smash through platforms. You know, some days you have a brain fart, <laughs> and some days you gotta hold some else. <laughs> anyway, um, seeing very patient play from both. Um, you you see a lot of use of quick attack on this stage because um, because this stage moves. It makes oh no oh, blue danes Pikachu uh li Lilat okay you're able to cancel quick attack on moving platforms which mm -hmm. includes the entirety of Lilat uh and as a result uh, Pikachu can basically like run around and, and double team everywhere yeah he can just kind of like get all around the stage without ever really committing very hard uh, and you only have to make one mistake. <laughs> to get uh, get caught by Pikachu. In fact, Quick Attack can lead into combos, so it's just very scary all around. No, we, yeah, we have the out. KO Punch now. This late, he'll I die to a lot of things. It. He'll die to a lot of things. Anyway, the main threat of the KO Punch right now is that it beats out Shield, so it's gonna make Shielding a little bit scarier. Um, if Tone Death catches a down tilt, um, the right hitbox of down tilt, he should be able to up -y. It doesn't quite get it. I don't know. Blue Danes may just be too uh, high of a percent. That was a strong burst option. Uh, that, it was very aggressive. It was just like... <clears throat> Tone Dev fell down and just immediately forward smashed because he knew Blue Danes was going to run right in. Um, I'm jaw dropped because that set. That that put me through a whirl, <laughs> you know? Like in high school when you get a swirly. Yeah, that ending was no. kind of intense. The whirl. And now we're going to see Linus sit Charizard, down. Charizard. Okay. And uh, as far as I'm aware... Um, Charizard is actually very good against Little Mac, to my knowledge. Like, this matchup is... Um, For some reason... Char Charizard is great at edgeguarding characters that don't snap to the ledge. Uh, you hear people talk about Charizard versus Cloud all the time. If Cloud doesn't have limit. Uh, Charizard is very good at just killing him if he gets off stage once. Uh, and I would assume the same applies to Little Mac for sure. Yeah. You know, I'm so happy because I was playing with the Nairo mod pack. Yeah, see that? See that? Oh, blown. That is, that is why. That Choice specs, crit hit. I feel like they. Thrower. I feel like they should have sent in Linus earlier because that matchup Choice just seems specs. so good for Charizard he, to me. He mega evolved for like 2.5 seconds or 9.0 seconds. You mean 0.9 oh, seconds? Okay, you know. I think this is uh, Galli G. Uh, I will tell you in the match. Oh, six to six. Whoa, it's tied. They brought Hello? it back. Let's go. Team. They're Yoshi. literally Little Mag versus Little Mag, the crew battle up to this point. This is a three-person crew battle. 
with some little Max like showing off. We got beforehand. Team Gucci versus Team BB-8, and I'm so glad R2 can't hear me right <laughs> now. <laughs> team BB-8 or R4D4 if you want to get PC. I, it's not R4D4. It's I think it is R something D4, but I don't think it's. Or K2SO, uh, go see Rogue One. Dude, K2SO. K2SO is my guy. was the trooper. That, that guy was cool. You know who else is the trooper? Linus. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he took out Tone Deaf pretty quick after uh, him being such a menace to Team R2. Watch out for Little Mac and crew battles, especially when the crew battles involve two Little Macs. Two Max. stocks. But now, uh, Galli G is a Lucas player, so <laughs> yeah, I would assume we're seeing Lucas uh, up against Charizard. Got a meat bag versus Combo USA, hmm? or maybe not Lucas? No, nah, I think she's messing. I don't believe that, and until someone yeah selects a different character, I don't believe that they're actually trying don't to. Don't believe it. <laughs> I've seen it too many times. People like. They select their main, they unselect their main, they mouse over some troll characters, select their main again. May have been considering a different character, but I've just seen it so many times as a commentator, I don't believe it till I see a cursor selected. Uh, a character selected, I should say. Now immediately, I like this like hot and cold playstyle that um, is coming from Galli. Like we're seeing like uh, a lot of attempts to like run in with Nair. Um, ooh. And she's, she's capitalizing pretty hard off her openings, too. And then, like, uh, once Linus tries to, like, um, if she doesn't find the opening, she immediately retreats with a Zare or a PK Fire. And it's like, uh, she's keeping Linus on his toes. The footsies. Yeah. Yeah, very strong footsies. What do you think about Lucas and Charizard, though? I couldn't put a number on the matchup, but, I mean. You know, I'm striking out with these, with asking about a matchup. <laughs> I, okay, how I've never seen Lucas versus Charizard in tournament before. I don't think I can say that I've ever seen Lucas. Oh my gosh! Ooh. That strong read from Linus. That's, yeah, that's what you need to see. That's what you expect from uh, someone who mains Charizard and Bowser. Those reads. He he got one read. He got that double jump, and that was all he needed. Um, but you know, them's the breaks when you're fighting Charizard. So now we'll actually see um, Galley finding herself at a disadvantage. And so, um, oh, oh man. You know, I'm trying to think of words. Yeah. But you, you've been doing <laughs> this longer. <laughs> it's okay. You get the hang of it. Yeah. Um, oh, almost caught that air dodge. All right. We're going to see uh, Lucas. I don't know if up throw will kill now. Like Charizard's really heavy. I'm not very familiar with I know up throw is a kill throw. Um, shortly after down throw up air stops working. Uh, in fact, they may actually overlap. Does Zard have any approach options? Okay, that might be it. Yeah, that, that's the stop. Does Zard have any approach options? Well, I mean, walking forward is always an approach option. <laughs> uh, I mean, when you, you have when you have normals and shield and grab available to you, you always have an approach option. It's just a question of how limited it is. So we're gonna see Linus clean that up. And uh, not not without dropping a stock first, though. That was looking kind of kind of dire for him until he got that like that strong forward smash read. And uh, that's just Linus Zard life. <laughs> Linus reads people like Harry Potter, man. <laughs> this man doesn't stop reading. Or if you're me, you just download a bunch of copies from other YouTubers to get free audiobooks. Gushi gets sponsored by Audible. Yeah. Okay. This is sponsored by Audible. Um, get your free Linus Red Jew book. Th that's the one I'm reading right now with his Charizard. Go to audible.com and use the code LITTLEMAC. <laughs> <laughs> For your free ebook today. Your free ebook. <coughs> Read to you by Gucci. Is this a Zard Ditto? Is this a Zard Ditto? I'm pretty sure I saw two. Yes. Where's the dragon? Two Charizards. So we have Cash up against uh, Linus. That says Hawk, but it is definitely Linus. 
Um, at least I'm pretty sure. Unless it's Linus using, unless it's Hawk using the Linus deck. Now I'm confused. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Linus. Linus is the one that plays Charizard. So unless Hawk is Who trolling Hawk Greyheart. Who does Hawk play? Cloud, right? No, Hawk, well they both have a Cloud, I think. But Hawk plays uh, Mario and Ike, typically. Oh. Linus plays Charizard and Bowser, typically. But they Ooh. have a myriad of characters. Do not be surprised if either of them pull out whatever character. It's kind of their, like, their thing. That was a beautiful read. Oh! Oh, oh, I like oh, that man. recovery. Fade back uh, with the air dodge. Flare Blitz to the ledge. Linus. Took a little bit of damage for it, but it was really safe. Um, but it was good on Linus to just, like, he was threatening that down air every time that uh, Cash went off stage. Ooh, good read. Um, he was threatening that down air every time Cash went off stage, so Cash was kind of forced to respect it and recover with that Flare Blitz, even though uh, it did a little bit of damage to him. So sometimes just your presence off stage can... Especially um, Charizard's too. Yeah, lead to bad situations. Yes, Charizard is terrifying off stage. The double spot I dodge. Like that simultaneous spot dodge. Oh. Uh oh. That fair is super big. Oh man. This is like watching a Godzilla Ooh. movie. And Cash gets the jump Cash read though with it. that up smash. Up smash, hit the hitbox on up smash is enormous, absolutely enormous. So if you jump and Charizard runs underneath you, it is over. Oh, you're not you're not sliding away from that one. So now we'll see Vegeta coming in up against Cash. Uh, last time I checked, Vegeta was an Ike main, always has been. So I wouldn't Super expect Saiyan. anything else. Yep. He's got Super Saiyan Blue. For Super this? Saiyan Blue. Well, he did pick the blue color. Halfway there. Whoa, whoa. We got the blue part. We just need the Super Saiyan part. You know, part. I did that backwards, my B. I don't listen to Bon Jovi that much. I really don't. Just <laughs> I, I need to stop. <laughs> All right. Stop it. <laughs> Get some Get help. Get some help. Um, so, immediately, this usage of flamethrower, just knowing that, like, Ike, Ike's mobility is not high. Uh, and forcing Ike to like jump around flamethrower. Uh, basically, Ike's gonna respect it because he's not gonna try to like jump over and punish it. Um, we are seeing heavy characters. At least Vegeta like, will not try it. I just realized that. Yes, both of these characters are very heavy. Uh, Charizard much more so than Ike, uh, as far as I know. Oh, <laughs> I like I like Cash's air dodges actually. I've seen a lot of like slick, unexpected ones from him. Now, I got a theory for you. What's that? Do you think this Charizard from Smash Ooh. is a bread? Oh, oh my gosh! Man. Vegeta, yeah, Vegeta recognized when Charizard bounces off your shield with Flare Blitz, he can't tech. He you is know, completely vulnerable in that situation. I was going to say the Charizard was a 6 IV Charizard. But not after that. <laughs> not after that. That's like a, it's like a solid. Yeah, I don't five. know. That, that defense IV maybe. Yeah, you're right. Mm. You're right. Or may, I don't know. Maybe Ike forward smash is just a rock move. Ike forward smash I is mean, a rock what move. What do you think that? I think that sword's made that's, of stone. That's I don't know. stone edge. I dude. mean, maybe maybe it's made of like iron. I can't tell. But what I do know is, um, Charizard loses to rocks. Rocks. He'll rock your soul. Like, rock and roll. Oh, man. I'm just striking out big time today. My <laughs> jokes, they'll, they'll <laughs> jokes are not on point tonight. <laughs> I'll be here all night. <laughs> Until Gucci is be like, Guns, and you got to go. Your jokes suck. <laughs> I take... Take pride in my bad jokes. How come so many? I feel like like eighty percent of the matches where crew reptiles. battle have been on Final Destination. But sure, the reptile thing too. I don't know. I don't know what. I mean, I guess Charizard counts. Had a couple Yoshi's. Yeah. You know what? I just noticed, guys. What's that? I only count for seven people because that's originally how many we had in this crew battle. So we actually still have two more stocks. Okay. There oh, we sweet. go. Because after this will be Loisal on my team. And then R2 Loisal. still has um, Hawk and Rayquaza. Oof. This Yoshi is playing super safe. Yeah, Locke, um, 
Very, very much about the short hop air dodge, as many Yoshis are. Very good way to, uh, it's, it's a good zone breaker, especially if you know that your opponent likes hitting buttons, because uh, short hop air dodge, characters with short hop air dodge to quick normal, uh, they are very good at beating buttons. Yeah. Um, but v Vegeta's been a, a little more reserved, I think. Uh, for that reason, he knows that, you know, to deal with the short hop air dodge, you kind of do have to wait it out. Nice grab. Ooh. Okay. No. One thing. Okay. Does Lock I, have his jump? He's gonna make it back. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that was a beautiful counter. <laughs> he just threw that out! And we get the taunt. Solid taunt. That's like a really, that's like an anime taunt. Yeah, that's a very something like, cool That's taunt. some like fairy tale stuff. Oh, he waited. Oh, put man. him in another egg. Oh, <laughs> if, if Vegeta did not Respect. air dodge immediately, that would have been the coolest thing. Vegeta's about to shave this. Well, never mind. I was about to say shave his head. Ooh. Okay, that's, yeah. He did not mash out in time. Man. Uh, maybe out of fear of, like, mashing out a side B. It's like some Yoshi's Island stuff where you're just camping at the warp pipe because you can't beat Baby Bowser. You're just camping at that warp pipe with all the shot guy because you need more eggs, you know? Unfortunately, I've not gotten all the way through oh, Yoshi's, Yoshi's Island. Island's a terrible as, game. As play. much as I love that game. It's a terrible game. Okay. <laughs> Garbage, especially Yoshi's <laughs> Island DS. Oh, I'm not talking about DS. I'm talking about Super Nintendo Yoshi's Island. Regardless. This Yoshi is about to take Vegeta to Yoshi's <laughs> Island, though. <laughs> about to take him to the land of Dino. Uh-oh. Does see Vegeta have about? his jump? Oh, no! Oh, no, the SD. Yeah, that was a uh, little bit of confusion from Locke. The plummet. Uh, so it was definitely not the appropriate uh, option there. I'm going to start a petition calling SDs plummets now. Um, if you want to sign my petition. Why? I don't know, because like he plummeted, you know? <laughs> Just embrace for impact and yeah, but they don't always. So you don't always plummet when you SD. I mean, what if you peach parasol and you accidentally face the wrong way and you slowly like drift down to your death? I mean, you could let go. You could. I'm just saying that's not plummeting, man. You know. So by process of elimination, I believe this is Lysol, uh, considering that is. He's gonna supposedly the last person on Gucci's team. He's gonna disinfect to, to protect the stocks from Gucci's team. <sighs> well, that was better than the other ones. Try harder, Gunson. Try harder. You'll you'll make it someday in the comedy scene. How you been, Brian? Um, I have been. Been. Very good, enjoying That's this good. crew battle. You know, same, hands down, same. Now, who is on R 2s team right now? Uh, he still has Hawk and Rayquaza Hawk after and Vegeta. Rayquaza. So we'll see what. Um, we'll see if the the Ganondorf Man. can uh, pull through. In uh, Lysol, I don't. I don't. I mean, if Little Matt can do it, then Ganon can do it too. I believe. Lysol just needs to take one stock. Oh, 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 oh. oh these flame I, chokes. Yeah, I like these flame chokes. He's looking like a Kuma. It's one of my uh, favorite looking moves in the game. Yeah. Actually, I think it's very savage looking. Oh no! <laughs> Poorly timed to get up attack. And uh, this should be it. Yep. Oh, man, that was... Yeah, if you have to recover against Ike and you don't have a then jump... Then like, some air um, horns. And all you, like, it is often going to be curtains. Curtains. Oh, 27 off a counter. Ike is mad strong. Yeah, well, Ike's counter is strong, and also he countered a very strong move. Ike eats his Wheaties. <laughs> like, hands to the wall. I know what that means. <laughs> The analogy Ike does eat his Wheaties. <laughs> the analogies are <laughs> god tier today. Um, oh no! Oh man! man! Woo! Yeah, Lysol rolling behind that, thinking that uh, maybe he can get a bigger advantage um, than 
you know, just sitting there and shielding it. But the back hitbox is going to take him out. No. And that will end the crew battle in R2's 